Okay, so we're just going to cover frosted glass, and we're going to do this fairly fast, there's not a lot to it. Um, I'll bring up the material editor. So for basic frosted glass, it's very simple. You set up basic glass the same way as I covered in my other tutorial. But just to go over the basic glass settings quickly, uh, reflection for this, I've set it 192, you can set it higher. Feel free to set that where you want to set it. Reflective, gro reflective glossiness, I have left at 1. Uh, for now, reflections I've left on, but I've unlocked this, and I've changed this amount to 2.2. Uh, refraction, I set all the way at 255. And then lowering the glossiness, as I said. IOR I've set to uh, glass IOR, 1.53. Uh, feel free to leave it at 1.6. There's no real reason that needs to change very much. It's such a minor difference. Um, but I did set it to 1.53, which is the IOR of glass. Now I left max depth here at 5 and 5. This depends on um, how many times is it going to refract. Like is there a whole bunch of glass in a row and you need lots of refraction? And how many times do you need it to reflect? Is there again a load of glasses or very reflective materials? Then feel free to set that up. Now I turned on reflect on backside, which means it will reflect on both sides of the glass. Um, and by default this is on. So I've turned this off. Uh, and this will make mean my glass object will have uh, normal shadows. Whereas if I turn it on, like this, because the glass object is completely refractive, the light will pass straight through the object and there'll be no shadows at all. So it'll look a little bit odd. Um, and that's really it. I left this at microfacet, GTR, GGX, GTR, fat tail, fall off is left at default. And then you just lower the refraction glossiness. So this is set by default to 1, and you'll see these lines are clear, and then you just lower it, and as you lower it, it becomes more and more frosted. That's 0.9, this one here, it's set to 0.1. Now no one really normally goes as low as 0.1, I never go that low anyway, I, I'll normally maybe 0.7, which is this one here. I might go with 0.6, but not really, normally 0.7 is, is good enough. I've got all of these, this is 0.7, this is 0.5, this is 0.3, this is 0.1. We'll do a little test render uh, in a minute. I'll just show you some other little tricks which I've done. Okay, some other little tricks here. Uh, I was just sort of playing around because the problem with frosted glass is it can take a long time to render and sometimes you don't have that amount of time. You've got a client breathing down your neck for the image and they want frosted glass here and there and somewhere else. So you need to work out a way of doing it quick, quickly uh, and without too much noise. So I've just done, done some tests here and we'll see how these render out. Uh, but this one here I've assigned to this balloon dog and I've used V-Ray two-sided material. Um, what I've done is I've taken this and I've turned the translucency all the way up so it's completely white and I've taken this material which is a normal glass material, but I've taken a refract all the way down. Uh, so this comes in here and it's just being diffused reflection. So it was the glass material I had before. Uh, diffuse here I've set to 177. I set reflection at 192. One on the glossiness, 2.2 on Fresnel IOR. Um, and so anyway, we'll see what happens, but basically you get this two-sided material is going to force there to be a translucency on the object. So we'll see how that goes. This one is assigned to this balloon dog. And all this is, is I've taken the refraction down from 255 to 199. Uh, you can lower it further if you like. And obviously whatever isn't refractive is going to be the diffuse. So you're going to get this diffuse coming in here uh, and this color coming in instead. Now, what I would say is I would put this, maybe you lower it to 0.9. It's not going to be too frosted, but what's going to happen is this diffuse color is going to come in and we're going to get this gray coming in. So that's going to simulate the frosting. Um, that's that. Okay, I've got this pane of glass here. Now I've left this a single-sided pane, which really for glass when you're doing buildings, I say I will never have a single-sided, always have a box. But the reason it's a single-sided is because it has this V-Ray two-sided material on it. So this 
by default will say, hey, this is actually two-sided and not one-sided. So again, the translucency here is set all the way up. And this material, this material is uh, refractive to a degree, only a little bit, 78%. So most of it is relying on the two-sided material to let the light in. Um, and this, I've lowered the glossiness, refractive glossiness to 0.9, so it's a tiny, tiny bit frosted. Um, the diffuse is at 255, reflection, 192, reflective glossiness, 0.8, IOR, 2.2, you've got to unlock that. Refraction, 78, glossiness, 0.9, I lowered that so you'd have a tiny amount of frosting in there so you don't see clearly through where you see through. Uh, left the IOR there on the refraction at 1.2. Okay. Okay. So basically what this is, is this is saying, hey, it's two-sided. And this has its own opacity. You know, it's got its own translucency going on right here. And this material, which is plugged in there, also has some refraction. And what this does is it means that you can see through because of this, and you can see through because of this. And the two combined kind of simulate V-ray fog. This is probably what I would go, if I had some panes of glass, this is the route I would try and go down. And if necessary, if I really had no time, I would take this glossiness and put it up to one, and then just play with, you know, the refraction amount, and using this translucency amount in order to adjust it so that it looks correct. All right, so we'll do a test render, uh, but hopefully that's clear enough. And like I said, this is the normal way you do frosted glass. But these here are just a few cheats I have, and they'll either work for you, or they'll kind of work for you, but they'll give you an idea of the other things which are possible to do to cheat it and get your own done quickly.